<laughs> in Portland, Oregon. In church. And uh, <laughs> kid like I was, I dared another man or young man. I'd get a date before he did. <laughs> I remember the day I got saved. I got saved with my mother in a mission in Enid, Oklahoma. And I was eight years old. And um, mother had taken me to children's church. And for years, I was highly involved in children's ministries when, after we had children. When we came to San Diego, we had one daughter. We came in May of 51. We were going to a little Portuguese assembly in, in Point Loma, and Pastor Greg came there. It was his first pastorate. And he, was, he had children our children's age. And uh, so we, we were very close. Most of the people were Portuguese, and they were fishermen. And, we weren't fishermen, so, but they took us in. I don't know. The Lord just impressed upon us that we sh we had gone from Point Loma to Linda Vista because it was closer to home, and and uh, the girls needed fellowship with young people their age. And as people move, you know, being a Navy town. The, and near Navy housing in Linda Vista, a lot of the kids would move with their families. And our kids would be devastated because we were here permanently. So I said one thing, I do not want to follow Pastor Greg. <laughs> Famous because, last words. But the girls said, oh, Mama, let's go, please, let's go Sunday so we can see Charlie and Gloria. <laughs> So we came so they could see Charlie and Gloria, and the old sponge came out again, and Pastor Greg preached an absolute fantastic sermon, and we never left. <laughs> uh, well, when I first came out uh, here to this church, I, I was a board member for some time, and uh, I eventually discovered this. Too many smart people, a lot smarter than me, <laughs> on the board could be on the board, and so I, I let it go at that. I also uh, worked uh, in, with the uh, Royal, Rangers. Royal Rangers. So I got involved with the drama group, and I made and designed costumes for the plays, and we put on some huge plays involving, oh, a hundred or more people. Um, some of them had changed costumes a couple of times, so the first program we put on was at where Jesus called Lazarus from the tomb. And we had people, village, villages where the people would come in, you know, from the back of the church or the side. And I made 200 costumes that year. We were in the first choir that Faith Chapel ever had. Um, Thomas Lorson was our choir director, and he was from Scotland. Um, an older gentleman that was highly educated in music <laughs> and a music teacher. <laughs> and the choir delighted in pulling tricks on him because he was a joker. He, we'd have parties at the beach, and he'd get one or more of us into the water and dunk us, you know, like he was baptizing us, and <laughs> all in fun. And, and the choir grew and grew and grew because we had so much fun. Well, I think my favorite is where we are right now, really. Uh, we have a good staff and it's not as big as it has been in the past and that's just fine everything's taken care of and then of course we're really involved in 55 plus and I love every minute of it through the thick and the thin and there was a few times that it would have been very easy to walk away but we didn't get the okay from the Lord so we're here in fact 
we had decided one Sunday in the car coming church that we weren't going to come back. We had just, there had been so many things going on and we were really tired. And um, Pastor Greg's brother ran from one side of the church around the vestibule. Now he knew nothing of this. And he ran up and he looked me right in the eye and shook his finger. And he said, no, you will not. And I said, no, I will not what? He said, you will not leave this church. God just told me that he's not through with you here. I said, boy, if that doesn't stop you in your tracks. So we've been here ever since until God says, move, we're not moving. Sorry, you're stuck with us.